Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, certainly a stormy weather continues to pass through right now. And while most locations will get downpours, lightning and thunder, not all locations will get strong or even severe storms. And you know, we've been talking about this really since last night. We were thinking that the, the higher risk of any severe or strong storms would be from roughly Providence points north and west. And that's pretty much what has occurred in the last hour. But this yellow line is a line of heavy downpours and some thunderstorms extending from Boston all the way to just out side of westerly. The whole line itself is tracking off now to the east and southeast. We'll get some downpours very shortly in the Providence metro area, of course, coinciding with the evening commute and certainly slowing things down. Now we have our lightning tracker turned on and look at numerous cloud to ground lightning strikes with this uh, Severe storm now passing through Woonsocket, to Uxbridge, Blackstone, Mass. You see the Attleboro's and Mansfield right in here. This orange box right in here represents a severe thunderstorm a warning. The potential for uh, some straight line wind damage, not from a tornado, but rather just straight line winds, hail, as well as a torrential rain and a poor visibility. We've had some reports. Was it TJ Snake Hill Road? Snake Hill Road. In Boroughville, of either a tree or a tree limb down. In fact, I have a weather spotter, John, in Boroughville. He indicated a little while ago the torrential rain and some of the branches that have come down in some uh, neighborhood streets. But this is where the strongest activity is located right now. It is essentially north of Providence, uh, Cumberland right now, uh, getting hit very hot in the northern portion of Route uh, 295 as this storm is essentially tracking off to the east at about 30 miles per hour. Or so Pawtucket. Uh, the Yaddo boroughs and Mansfield, you see Taunton right in here. We'll be hearing uh, from this storm in the next roughly 30 to now to the next roughly 30 minutes. We can actually take a cross section of these storms and look, in, look at them in three dimensions. And when you get an idea of the height that these storms are towering up, it gives us a, a clue as to whether or not they're getting stronger or weakening. But this area in red, uh, this storm now towering up to uh, uh, just about 30,000 feet. So that is a healthy, strong to borderline severe storm that is tracking off now towards the uh, Attleboro's. The area in red right in here, uh, this is a severe thunderstorm warning until um, 545. It includes Woonsocket and Cumberland, Taunton, Mansfield, as well as the Attleboro's. Here's a close-up look. And in the northern portion of Route 295, within this uh, red box right in here, until 545, uh, straight line wind damage to Torrential downpours and frequent uh, cloud to ground lightning. In fact, on our lightning tracker, you can see numerous cloud to ground lightning strikes. But even in eastern Connecticut, uh, heading towards uh, Kent County, you can probably hear the thunder off in the distance, but we're still getting new lightning strikes. The white dots represent in real time some of the, the brand new cloud to ground lightning strikes as well. And we showed this forecast map all of last night and this morning and this afternoon where we thought the higher risk of severe or strong storms would be in the areas and purple and that's pretty much uh, what has happened in the last uh, couple of hours with a medium risk of strong to severe in the areas in orange and a lower risk along the south shore. So quite simply, this map represents the potential uh, for the severity of the storms and not for thunderstorms uh, in general. It gets really dark skies in Providence right now. We're looking off to the west. So this is the line of storms on the, uh, off in the distance that will be approaching very shortly. Sheets of rain and gusty wind approaching the city very shortly as well. Down in Narragansett, it's fairly quiet, but rain and thunder will be heading your way. And in North Kingstown, it's uh, cloudy, dark skies, but uh, no precipitation yet, and fairly quiet down in Newport as well. This whole line will be coming through over the next couple of hours. It's ahead of a cold front, this blue line right in here behind that front. The air dries out, and this sets up for a very dry and refreshing warm Wednesday. Seven-day forecast shows the better weather. Warm and dry on Wednesday uh, in the mid to upper 80s. The rest of the week looking pretty good. We bring back the next chance for scattered showers and storms on Sunday and Monday. Very humid with temperatures in the lower 80s. Rain and thunder for everyone, but the worst of the storms as far as severity north of Providence. And we're already seeing its impact on places outside. I mean, even Worcester, the, the uh, uh, street flooding, flooding was uh, crazy. You know, two, three inches of rain in 40 minutes. Yeah. yeah. All right, Tony, thanks. More coverage you can count on still ahead on Eyewitness News Live at 5.